So we're all, all our eyes are focused on mum so that it's drawing the, the watcher's attention towards the mum. Jesus gave that commandment, love one another as I have loved you. And it's a saying that we've heard lots and lots and lots. But do we really take time to think about what it means? How did Jesus show his love for us? How does he continue to show his love for us? And then how do we model that on earth? One thing I really think about that Jesus really role modeled was he was a fantastic listener. He really listened when people were talking to him. And it's really hard. It's hard to be a good listener and to be mindful when someone's speaking to them. I know sometimes when I come home at the end of the day and you're calling me, you're mommy, mommy, and you're trying to tell me something, sometimes I'm not always mindful to what you're saying. And I think to really show love to one another is really being present, is really being aware of what that other person is saying. This might remind you of the story of the two sons. Um, when one son asked for his money when he was a bit younger and then he traveled far, far away and spent all of his money on worthless living. So then he said, I sinned against God and my father. So then he went back home and then he was wondering what his father was going to say to him if he was mad, sad, disappointed, angry. And then when the father saw him from a far away distance, he welcomed him and then he said, then the son said, I sinned against God and you. And he said, please forgive me. And then the father forgave him and said, we should have a big celebration. Love one another as I have loved you means to love one another unconditionally, to, you know, respect and see the goodness in each other and forgive each other. Um, by loving one another in this way, I, I feel that we continue to build God's kingdom here on earth. Um, what does that look like in modern times? I look to Pope Francis as in his wisdom. I believe he, he chose St. Francis, who is the patron saint of the environment, as his, uh, his saint, his name, uh, because climate change is a huge problem nowadays and people are displaced uh, because of the weather and because of changing climate and it is up to us to continue to uh, take care of them and take every action that we do to um, slow down this climate change and help the people on the earth. Well, this reading really made me think of Jesus' sacrifice. So he died on the cross for our salvation. He suffered through all that pain because he loved us so much and he wanted us to go to heaven. It also made me think of WWJD, what would Jesus do? And for example, if somebody's hurt and nobody knows but you and you see them just crying and you go over there and comfort them and make sure they're all right. I think of that story that you shared, Natalie, with the, with the brother and how he went back to his father and, and asked for forgiveness again. Jesus and God are always willing to forgive us. And are, do we do that for other people? So I think by doing that, then we truly are living out Jesus' commandment of love one another as I have loved you.